Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to the AI only battle you've all been waiting for. Third Age Total War, a medieval 2 mod and today we're at Minas Tirith. Really excited to record this one, we have the army of Gondor here. Um, going to be interesting to see how they defend, I designed this army by the way. Um, I tried to make it as balanced as possible, I don't know if I've done it correctly though. Why is Gondor able to recruit trolls? I'll never understand that. Um, they just, yeah, they're just a troll unit there that we can't recruit. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, we have fighting against them the army of Mordor. This is meant to be a big army here, led by the Nazgul. We've got some Ologhai and some trolls. It's gonna be interesting to see how uh, this very, a very weak army is able to fight against Gondor. Mordor outnumber Gondor, but Gondor have the better quality troops and the defense system. It's going to be interesting to see how this one happens. And also I thought we should bring a little bit of Harad in. Harad, they're, they're not they're not going to play a massive part in this battle, but they're going to be there. And more importantly, we're going to have the Mumakil, the elephant. So big elephant thing is that you see in the films. I, I had to add those. And also, I wanted another unit as well. Um, yeah, I wanted them to have. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. I think I think this should be balanced. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll see how it goes. I've got no idea who is going to win this one. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, the good guys, so the orcs and Harad, or the villains, which are of course the humans in Gondor. Um, I think the good guys are going to win, so come on Mordor. <laughs> My YouTube's name is Melkor, can you blame me for cheering for Mordor? Yeah, I, I want the attackers to win this one. Right, so the rule in this is that I have to um, I've got to stay in this part here and I'm not allowed to leave it so yeah that, that'll do anyway here we go the battle begins here is Minas Tirith here is Mordor and here is Gondor they've got their arches on the walls already some Ithilian rangers there and the battle begins. Just taking a few screenshots there. Oh, this might actually be better. Yeah. Oh no, Gondor, what are you doing? They seem a little bit confused on these walls. Seized how I was moving in with the battering ram. The music hits it perfectly right now. Wow, incredible. What do we have on the walls here? They have the dismounted swan knight. Swear to the general. Yeah, they're pulling the general back. He's the cavalry unit. And the Nazgul all the way back over here. Have had our moving in. Quite slowly, they did take a while to get here. But here we have it. The mummy kill. The elephants. Can't wait to see them get into the battle. The siege towers are at the walls. They didn't. Gundar wasn't able to really fire that many arrows down at them. They didn't. They didn't start on the walls correctly, which is not going to be good for them. But who knows? Where's their trebuchet? I know I put one of those in. Yeah, see, I think it is firing. Um, they're being hit up by arrows from the Mummer kills, so that's interesting. The, the army of Harad actually have a shot at the trebuchet, so that's interesting to know. And they're battering away the gates now, they're through. Whatever comes through this gate, you'll hold your ground. Unfortunately, I don't think they're doing a charge in with the Yolog high at the start, though. Or maybe they are. Yes. I 
in come the hot hollow kai just charging through yes yeah, throwing all those orbs into the air as well as i do it come on mordor you can bring them down they've broken onto the walls as well i think gundo should Ooh, whoa what? i've got no idea what shot them there it could have been the trebuchet, could have been the towers, I, I don't know. Yeah, Gondor of course have the better units and trolls on the walls. Wow, that's just gonna... That's gonna tear them to pieces. And the frame rate, rate is looking good, that's why I'm happy. What's that troll doing? The frame rate, rate is looking good, that's what I'm happy about. It. Oh wow, that was crazy. Was that, is that coming from the towers? Or is that the trebuchet? Doesn't look like the right angle from the trebuchet. No, it couldn't have been them. It must have been the towers that were firing. Wow, that's crazy. Sixty percent damage done to the siege tower. Wow, those towers are good. In come the trolls. Charging in at the dismounted swan knights. We've got some archer fire there. Uh, some weird bugged orcs. I think the Gondorian front line has broken right now. I think Mordor has to get. Yeah. They've taken the statue. 20% of Gondor is dead, 12% of Mordor is dead. It's not looking good in Gondor's favour right now there. Gondor really should have held these walls much better than that, but luckily, um, although not many Gondor troops, although not many Mordorish troops have died, a lot of them are breaking and the numbers that are broken do not count in the percentage, so bear that in mind, it's not completely over for Gondor yet. And of course, when Gondor breaks, they will return eventually. So that's all we've got to be. You know, but don't forget that is what I'm trying to say. Gondor is still looking good right now. Still can run this. They've broken loads of orcs already. The Athelion range is broken. And I don't know why, but they're firing at the wrong wall. If that was just a little bit higher, that could have been good. Come on Gondor, don't be stupid. Use this artillery. And don't lose it. I don't know why I put the trebuchet in. I, I know it couldn't have been on the walls like the bells, but oh, you know what? Might as well. That's right, see how it goes. Gondor fighting from this choke point here. Come on Mordor, you can break through. Have they silenced the tribution? I think they might have done. Maybe it might still be able to fire them. A little bit unsure. Look at all those orcs defeating. The Harads, the Haradim are coming in. Gondor still defending these walls with some of their best units in the game. And some archers as well to fire down. Those archers there, firing off the walls, have got high ground advantage. They're getting a lot of kills with those. We've got units over here as well, just a big lob of Citadel Guard, or Fountain Guard, sorry. Yeah, Mordor are going to be able to make that. And then more archers on the walls again, using the high ground advantage. Although it looks like Mordor's coming up now. Then I try and either flank those or try and silence these archers. Might the elephants. There we are. What are these doing? I think they've got archers on top, so they're firing in at Gondor. They don't have a good shot, but I'm sure they'll probably get a couple of kills. Yeah, and here they go. They are going for the archers. Luckily Gondor do have some reinforcements up here, uh, some more fountain guard.
Oh, I never noticed that there's two statues down as well. Oh, that's nice. Always Mordor looking. So they're still pushing through, Gondor keep bringing in reinforcements. I think Gondor are able to hold this well, especially with lots of archer fire. Uh, but there's a lot of um, Orcs and Hamadim now fighting Gondor, which I think they've silenced the archers, so that's going to cause a problem. I've got some trolls up there as well, but something at them. Oh, <laughs> that mu yeah, that had to be the trebuchet. Yeah. I doubt it was this tower, little tower here, and that broke Gondor. Yeah, that killed more of Gondor than than Mordor, which was very unfortunate for them. Oh, we can just see it there. Gondor have now lost 50% of their soldiers, Mordor have lost 28%. Gondor still hold walls, but it's not looking good right now. I probably shouldn't have brought these Hamadim soldiers in, I just thought make it a little bit more cinematic, but kinda didn't work right. They've got, yeah, Mordor's got too much of an advantage right now. I was worried it was going to be too easy for Gondor because they had the troops were such high quality, but yeah, but they can still bring it back. They've still got soldiers on the walls. And you've got to still bear in mind that this does not count um, units that are out, and so it's actually more like 55% loss for Gondor and about 45% loss for Mordor. So it's it's not as bad as it looks. Although the balance of power, yeah, that's a little bit more actually. But with with there. Uh, I was about to say, we've seen it turn around before, and then Gondor breaks here. They've lost the trebuchet, Mordor are going to move forwards. Probably, it was probably a mistake when it didn't have Adam to be in. Yeah, Mordor are returning now, so... They're coming back to the battle. Gondorian archers still firing down, but they must be getting a lot of kills, I assume. They're hitting this tower a lot more. And we're shooting trolls in the back, so that could be good. They could get a few kills there. Being Citadel Guard, well, Fountain Guard, I mean, they'll hold for a long time. Same over here as well, they're just holding against these trolls. They're going to get flanked now, but still going to. Right. What is it that's shooting? It's not the trebuchet. Is it? No, these aren't able to fire that. It must be these towers. It's, it's got to be the towers now. I don't know what it is that's shooting at them, but that got a lot of kills on those Mordorians. Mordorians? Orcs. Yeah, that'll be bad. Oh wow. Don't know why it's not shooting at them, but it's incredible. Look at all these dead uh, soldiers here. Gondor did break, however. Yeah, I'm 99% certain it's the towers. Well, those are some good towers for us. Though. Yeah. And it makes sense, Minas Tirith would have good towers. Right, so what's happening over here then? So Gondor still trying to hold this wall here. Um, yeah, bringing in those soldiers. It looks like they're bringing in their general down now as well. Where's the Mordor general? He's a Nazgul unit somewhere. 
I, I don't know. He's back here. Yeah, we know he's going back here getting hit by arrows. And here's the Harad in general. He's just the... the one match on elephants. These look so good. So, Gondor's general has charged down now into these orcs. Ah, they finally sent the trolls for these archers. And just look at them there, fighting. Amazing. Just kicking them all down as well. <laughs> Using their clubs as well, just to finish them off. But they're not doing, they're doing damage because they're getting them down, but they are still standing up, so it's not, not as powerful as you'd think, but they are definitely. Yeah, and Gondor just don't know what to do there. Uh, they're still firing their arrows at something. We used to have the Orlog High, by the way, not the trolls. Uh, there is a difference. Either way, an Orlog High and a troll are both something you can be promoted to in my Discord channel. If you join it now. Well, not if you join like today, you won't get immediately promoted, but you can work your way up to becoming an Orlog High. And a troll, well, that's basically self explanatory, I think. <laughs> Is that drawn to operation? Not yet. Oh, there's so much of this battle to cover, it's difficult to see it all. Gondor, the general's still alive, but he's starting to struggle now. I don't think we have many soldiers left after this, so... Alright, we've got 152 units coming down there. And... I can't see anything else. How about all the way at the top? Right, so they've got... Oh yeah, we've got one archer down here. So this this is Legolas here. <laughs> With one archer all by himself. Uh, running back up to the top, he's done a... What he's going to do is he's going to run all the way. Um, right, come on, don't bug on me now. Oh. He's going to run all the way to the edge of his cliff here, jump down. And he's going he's gonna to jump all the way down here. Land right on the Nazgul. Wherever they are. Uh, I can't find the dance club. He's done a jump down, he's done a fall, and he's done a land on one of these trolls, put an arrow in its head and kill it. Yeah, that's what that one archer is going to do. Alright, looks like Gondor broke off that wall. Wait, where's this archer? He's, he's gone. Where's he gone? No, nope, that's not them. Ah, uh, I can't see him. Oh well. Ah. No, nope, that's five spearmen between. I don't know where that archer is. Maybe, maybe he did jump off and get a kill, I don't know. Some Gondorian archers here putting up a final stand as they get surrounded by Mordor. Got trolled on the walls above them, they've got spearmen and more spearmen and yeah, more spearmen surrounding them, and there goes Gondor's general. 
I think it's safe to say now Gondor has fallen. Mordor has won. Yes. Still hope for a little bit of a better fight. I, I don't think this was balanced that well. Um, probably should have taken Hammered out and then, yeah, then it would have been balanced, I think, if they took Hammered out of, out of the thing. But yeah. And they only killed 46% of Yorks and, oh, and look at him, just hunting him down those cavalry there, just putting him down. Yeah, Gondor can't do anything. This one might be able to retreat out, but yeah, I think he's made it. The rest of them got cut down to pieces. <laughs> and we done cut down these actions as well whilst they're trying to retreat. And that's it. Mordor have taken the first wall. But the battle's mostly on like the first wall and after that nothing really happens. Um, there's just something probably going to happen on this third wall but probably not. It's a really beautiful map. Shame you can't always get the best camera angle because it shapes a little at times, but amazing map. Yeah, the elephants didn't even come in. I don't think they can. Looking at the size of them, I don't think they'll be able to make it through this main gate. So they were just going to stand outside and shoot arrows in instead. That's unfortunate, but oh well. But they were there for fun. I think this is the final Gondorian line of defence and they're fighting these trolls. I think they should be able to kill these trolls if they turn around and start fighting them, that is. Come on trolls, turn them to pieces. <laughs> Someone, someone's reaction already. Mordor just chasing them down. At least Gondor got a couple of kills on these trolls. They should be able to finish them off unless Mordor gets more involved. Yeah, one troll left. The final troll. As Mordor go up the stairs to the next layer of walls. There go the Nazgul, woo! And there's the, there's the Mordor general right there. He's part of the Nazgul unit but it looks like an orc. Ah, oh, and there, there go, the final troll is dead eye. Gondor, yep, done a charge in. Get a few kills on my flank as well. But Mordor constantly bringing in more and more soldiers. But they just outnumber Gondor by so much now, just continuing to see. To see it to the end, I think it's. I think that's what I gotta do. Oh, just look at all these. So many troops. Gondor should have defended the walls better, that was their big mistake. They had the better troops, but they weren't outnumbered by too, too many soldiers. I let them just finish themselves off. I'll be broken. Um.
the other box. I'm by Mordor, we should move up there. Right, where, where's the main like, front line of Mordor? Right, here I come, just chasing down these Gondorians here who are exhausted by play. Here's my final set of soldiers. So, so. Move round to the other side of the tree. So difficult to get a camera angle at this point. Oh, these there's some random some random orc band all the way down here they're just waiting for some cavalry to show up uh, maybe there might be some cavalry around they've not done the cavalry in this battle by the way it's just impossible to add in uh, you can do it with human players but yeah yeah you can't do it with AI only battle AI is not smart enough to like, just charge in at the right moment sort of thing if you added Rohan as cavalry, what they would do is they'll spawn all the way down here and they'll just stand here and wait for them, wait for Mordor to break through so it wouldn't, yeah it just wouldn't work. Right, Mordor come up the final stairs now. Oh, Nazgul leading the charge as well. Right, that's probably the best camera angle it'll give me. The Nazgul haven't lost a unit yet, and there, there goes Gondor. Now, at the final layer of defence, Gondor falls. Now it's going to move in first. Gondor aren't going to be able to hold this, so just going to keep them breaking, so they're going to get cut down. Yeah, the Nazgul are just going in by, by themselves at this point. <laughs> He's just so dead, torn to peace by that Nazgul. <laughs> What's the point in all these units staying down here? Yeah, these are just, just glitched. All of Hamad as well. They're just thinking, you know what, if more doesn't go up there, we'll just say that we were a little bit delayed, and they're not going to do anything for the entire battle. <laughs> the white tree will burn.
Shame you can't see our spin leaf from the background. That would have been nice. There's one thing that I hated in the Lord of the Rings film. There's only one thing that I really hated. And it was this part here. What it had was the entire of Minas Tirith looked beautiful. It was perfectly symmetrical. And it had this nice little fountain right in the middle. It was beautiful. But then they put the tree on the right hand side and all of a sudden it wasn't symmetrical. But what they should have done in the film is like put the tree in the middle and built like um, it wasn't a well, it was like a water fountain sort of thing around it. That would have been so much better, but no. We had to make it unsymmetrical with possibly the most important part, the tree, and they had to put it right here, right on the right. It annoyed me so much. It's the, it's the one thing that I hated about the Lord of the Rings film. It just, the tree was not symmetrical with the rest of the thing. It really got to me, and it still gets to me now. I don't know why. You just couldn't like, like the, the tree doesn't have to be in the water of the fountain. You just like build a fountain around it and make the water not touch the tree by using stone or something like that. <sighs> why make it unsymmetrical after you've done all this symmetry, all of this perfect? Then this random tree thrown to the right. Anyway, I think Gondor's completely wiped out now, it's just me left, so I'm just gonna charge in and hope I get cut down quickly so I can start making my sandwich because I'm hungry. I need to watch the Lord of the Rings again. I haven't watched them in about a year. That's how long it's been. Imagine that not watching The Lord of the Rings in an entire year. I used to watch him every month. Just have had other stuff to do. Wow. Alright, so Mordor, I've taken the city now. And there goes my general. Captain Dune here. Where are those? Where are those Nazgul? There they are. Moving in to finish it off. Well, we got a one versus one. Well done, soldier. He killed that orc. Well done, but the Nazgul are coming for him now. Let's see him take down 10 Nazgul at once. No, no, just walk the other way. <laughs> he didn't see that. Well, I have a Nazgul going to plant a Mordor flag right on the end or something. Of course they're not, but... No, he just wanted to, like, shake his sword at it. And then he's done a charge into the battle to kill the final one. There he is. That's why I'm gonna charge him for them. We're just making sure there's no escape. And there he goes. Minas Tirith has fallen. Mordor has won. There we go. <laughs> so we get to see the statistics. So I killed 700 soldiers there. Uh, what that is, is that's that's my unit and that's also the towers as well. So 700 deaths almost, just from the towers alone. Wow. And then Gondor killed 1,800. Mordor killed 1,800 also and captured almost 1,000. And Hamad killed 142. And they only lost about 100. 
Yeah, that was quite good. So Mordor came into battle with almost 5,000 soldiers. Gondor had 3,000, but they killed 700 soldiers with the towers, which means if you remove Harad from this battle, then yeah, got, Mordor still would have won. Just looking at the statistics. Yeah, more than likely anyway. I don't know, as Mummer Kill did get a lot of kills and they did probably silence the trebuchet, so yeah, I think Mordor could have done it on their own though. Anyway, here's a, here are the, just the normal statistics if you want to see them. There we go. Trebuchet only got 19 kills. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was definitely a good one. I'm happy I finally recorded it. Uh, there's always going to be more coming, of course. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and good. Bye.